Hey, how you doing econ students? This is Mr. Clifford. Welcome to ACDC econ. Right now we're going to talk about profit. No, not that kind of profit. As you know, the goal of every business is to maximize profit. And it turns out there's actually two different types of profit. There's accounting profit and economic profit. Now before we go any further, you have to know that economists hate accountants and accountants hate economists. No, I'm serious. If I'm walking down the street and I see an accountant, it is on. It's kind of like Peter Griffin and that chicken. The reason why they hate each other is because they both have a different way of calculating profit and they both think that they are right, even though the accountants are clearly wrong. You probably know that profit is all of your revenue coming in minus all your costs. But what costs should be included? For example, every business has certain explicit costs. These are out-of-pocket costs that they would normally pay. For a restaurant, this would be the price of hiring the workers and paying your rent and all the other ovens and things that you need to run your business. Again, that's called explicit costs. When accountants calculate profit, they're looking at just explicit costs. They're looking at the total revenue minus the explicit out-of-pocket costs that you normally think of. But economists know better. We know that explicit costs are not the only type of costs. There's also opportunity costs. These are implicit costs. So when you run a business, you put your money into it and you could be doing something else with your money or you could be doing something else with your time. The value of those things are implicit costs. So economic profit is your total revenue minus your explicit and implicit costs. Now let me give you an example that'll make more sense. Let's assume that LeBron James leaves the NBA to go open up a taco shop. So he opens up this taco shop and he gets a certain amount of revenue, let's say $2 million of revenue coming in. All right, he also has certain explicit costs of running the business. He has to pay for cheese and meat and for the workers and for rent and for the tables and that comes up to about a million dollars. The accountant would calculate his profit and say he's making a million dollars. Two million minus one million equals one million dollars. So the accountant saying, hey, great job, well done, you're making a lot of money, congratulations. But the economist also factors in the implicit costs, the 20 million dollars that he could be making if he stayed in the MBA. So let's calculate economic profit. It's the $2 million of revenue minus the $1 million of explicit costs. Also subtract out the $20 million of implicit costs. So if you look at it that way, LeBron's actually losing $19 million by opening up that taco shop. It's a loss, not a profit. Take that accountants. Accountants are important to figure out how much is your company earning and trying to pay your taxes. But economists are better at figuring out how much is your real profit when you're trying to make decisions. Going back to the taco shop example, what if I told you the next year LeBron made zero economic profit? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Your first thought is that zero economic profit is a bad thing, but actually it's not. Think about it. To have zero economic profit, your total revenue has to equal your explicit and implicit costs. So LeBron could be making just as much money opening the taco shop as he would working in the MBA. So his total revenue must be huge and his accounting profit has to be positive. So the idea of zero economic profit is called something. It's called a normal profit. In a competitive market, firms break even and make zero economic profit because they can't make more profit doing something else or they would have gone and done that other thing. The flip side of that is if they are making a bunch of profit, other firms will jump in and that profit will go away. The point is making no economic profit is a perfectly normal thing and that's why it's called normal profit. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Until next time.